The member from Dufferin Calgary. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Children and Youth Services. Last week, I shared stories from families that are devastated because of your decision to stop providing IBI therapy to children over five years old. Some of those families have joined us here today and are looking to you for answers. One family shared their story about their son, Jean-Paul. On October 2015, one month prior to turning five, Jean-Paul finally began IBI therapy after waiting for nearly three years. Prior to receiving IBI therapy, he wasn't able to say a word. And now, after a couple of months, he's using sentences. Now, the minister will be stripping away this IBI support for Jean-Paul and other children just because they're five. Jean-Paul's experience clearly shows that IBI is working. Will the minister do the right thing, reverse her decision, and allow children over the age of five Question. access to IBI therapy? Here, here. Thank you. Thank you. Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Speaker. And I want to thank my critic from the opposition party for this very important question. And again, acknowledge the families that are here today. And these parents, Speaker, here today and others across the province and on our webinar last night with hundreds of parents have heard me say that uh, the clinical experts have advised us that intensive intervention is most effective for children under five. And that means that children over five, Speaker, are not in the right uh, developmental window for this service to help families with children over the age of five who are currently waiting for services. We are providing them with the one-time funding of $8,000. Speaker, that will take children off the waiting list today and into immediate right. service. Right. And parents can buy the service immediately, and the children will not have to wait. And once that money is spent, Speaker, Answer. families can access or improve publicly funded autism services, and it will continue to provide more. Services Service for a longer duration, tailored to the children's Thank you. needs. Thank you. Webinars where you try to justify your decision is not what these parents are looking for. They want the therapy for their kids. Right. I want to quote from another letter I received from a parent. He wrote, It's unfortunate autism isn't given the same priority as cancer. Both do not have a cure. Both cost money to treat and manage, and both can be devastating for the families. Whenever you're going to talk about limited funding for autism treatment, try replacing the word autism with cancer and read it for yourself. How's it sound? What would the reaction be if you read that statement in public?" End quote. I agree. We would never push aside a cancer patient based on age. And yet, this is exactly what the minister is doing with children with ASD. Will the minister reverse her decision and provide real support to the thousands of Ontario children waiting for IBI therapy today? Minister. Speaker, again, I thank the member for the question. It's very important. Speaker, um, I know what it's like to have a child with special needs. <laughs> Speaker, when I was asked as a parliamentary assistant to the then Minister of Children and Youth Services to write the special needs report, it was my honour and privilege to talk to families with special needs with all kinds of disabilities to help them get the information they need to help them navigate a complicated system, a far too complicated system, to help them figure out what the best evidence is, to help them determine when a diagnosis is appropriate, to help them get the services they need. And this is the most um, important piece of work I've ever done, Speaker. And speaker, now as the Ontario Minister of Children and Youth Services, my job is to advocate and support and protect children. Thank you. My job is to follow the evidence and provide the best possible. Thank you.